hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are old here thanks and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design christmas flyer using adobe photoshop without any further ado let's get started now go to your file then select new and i'm going to use 1080 by 1080 pieces and leave your resolution at 300 then click on create then i will go to my test document and copy this color code over here ctrl plus c to copy then go to your solid color then and over here i'm going to paste it ctrl plus v to paste then you click ok then after this one the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to my resource file and i'm going to import this background over here then something like this so now i'm going to rasterize it right click and rasterize then select your marquee tool and over here i'm going to cut out this one i'm going to cut out this one then right click and make you select this one layer via cut so i'm going to cut it then go back on this one then you select it then also i'm going to cut this one right click then i'm cut it go back to your background again then i'm going to select this one and right click then you make a cut all right so we have about four of them now so the next thing now then i'm going to select this one then increase it to fit it and i'm going to drag it down like this then you click ok something like this then after that one this one i'm going to position this one around here then i will reduce it like this then all right ctrl plus j to duplicate it then i'll bring this one around here then right click flip it vertical right click again and flip it horizontal to change the dimension like this then you can drag it over here and now this one i will take this one around here then i reduce the size something like this it's okay so our position is somewhere here all right now this one i will take it up then you can increase the size okay so then go back to the first one and i'm going to change the blending mode to pin lights also this one then change it to pin light so all this one there is no need to change this one to pin light but if you like then you can do it so now I have changed all of them to pin light now so the next thing i'm going to do then i will come back to this background and i'm going to import this background image over here then scale it out then something like this then click ok i will reduce it small so okay like this all right then apply your layer mask, select your gradient tool and I'm going to blend over here and this part. So I'm going to blend it. Then go to your blending mode and change it to soft light. So this is the outcome of it. Then I'm going to take this one up here. I will reduce it a little. 
So over here is my background. Then I'm going to group it. Hold your shift key, select it. Then Ctrl plus G to group it. Having done this one, so these are the fonts I'm going to use. Then I'm going to copy this test over here. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then select your test tool. Ctrl plus V to paste. I'm going to take this one, drag it up this way. Then on your test, I'm going to reduce the size like this. Then Ctrl plus J to duplicate it. And now we drag this one over here. Then select your test to highlight it. And I will come over here to copy this one. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then I'm going to change the font to red. Then over here, I'm going to increase the character spacing by 80%. Then I will leave it like this. Okay. Then select the two late words. Then hold your shift key while you select it. Then I'm going to group it together. Now, highlight all, Ctrl plus A to highlight, then apply vertical alignment, then Ctrl plus D to deselect. So, having done this one, the next one now, then I'm going to copy this one, Ctrl plus C to copy, then select your test tool, and Ctrl plus V to paste. Then I'll position this one around here for now. Then go back to your crater spacing and make it 0%. Then go to your test document and I'm going to copy this one. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then you can duplicate this one. Ctrl plus J to duplicate. On the test over here, then I'm going to remove this cap over here so it will change to small letter. Also, I will do the same thing to this one by removing the cap. Then select your test tool and highlight it. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then over here, I'm going to change the font to Maria. Then increase the font size. Something like this. Okay. Then go back to your test document and I'm going to copy this one. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then select your test tool, Ctrl plus V to paste. And I'm going to change the font to this font over here. Then change the font color to red. Increase the size. Then remove this boldness. Then the same thing over here. I'm going to re remove the boldness. Then position it. And I'm going to increase it. It's okay like this. All right, so having done this one now, then the next one, I'm going to copy this one. Ctrl plus C to copy. 
then before i go further i'm going to group this one together then ctrl plus a to select all apply vertical alignment then ctrl plus d to deselect then i'm going to select a rectangle and over here i'm going to create a line like this it's okay then ctrl plus a to select all apply vertical alignment then ctrl plus d to deselect then now i'm going to select my test tool then ctrl plus v to paste then select this one then go back here and then i'm going to apply superscript then select all apply vertical alignment to centralize it then ctrl plus d to deselect then i will drag it up using my arrow key then hold your shift key then i'm going to reduce the size of it then now i'm going to duplicate this one ctrl plus j to duplicate and now we hold down my shift key while i drag it down then i'm going to reduce the size this way it's okay then i will bring it over here then ctrl plus j to duplicate and now we drag this one over here something like this then i'm going to create a rent angle like this then i'm going to apply red color and come over here to copy your test ctrl plus c to copy then select your test tool ctrl plus v to paste then make it semi bold then position it over here then i'm going to duplicate this one ctrl plus j to duplicate then you drag it down select your test tool then highlight it and i will come over to my test document to copy this one then ctrl plus v to paste then i'm going to reduce the size of this one then use your arrow key then to move it up Y, you hold your shift key and select the two then i'm going to increase the font size this way is okay then i'm going to group this one together and the dates i'm going to group it together then having done on complete this one so the next one i'm going to copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then you select your test tool then ctrl plus v to paste now close the space Then I'm going to change, change it to center alignment. Then highlight all, Ctrl plus A to select all. Then apply vertical alignment. Then I'm going to do the same thing to the dates. 
apply vertical alignment then ctrl plus d to deselect now i'm going to reduce the size of this one something like this then i will bring this one down this way then the last one i'm going to do now i'm going back to my test document i mean my resource file and i'm going to import this one then reduce the size then you drag it down and now we position it over there Then I'm going to increase the size of this one. Something like this. Okay, so the next one now, the last one I'm going to do then, I'm going to select this one over here. Then go back to your resource file and I'm going to import this image here then reduce the size So something like this. So we are done with the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe then and share. Also, if you want to optimize your YouTube channel or any other social media, then you there is a link in the description create a two body account then to optimize your youtube channel or any other social media and if you want to order for any graphic design then there is a link in the description then get ready to register for fiverr account then and order for any of your graphic design using the link in the description below thank you so much for following i really appreciate